zeg ook okay. niet veel kom die tent op mag. 100 percent. Um, good afternoon everyone. Um, so my first talk is uh, technology testing uh, for the ability to control shovel in cold store plums and nectarines. So the control of shovel on fruit is rapidly becoming a serious challenge uh, with pressure from consumers and governments to limit the use of single-use petroleum-based plastics. Um, there are currently um, used liners to prevent moisture loss um, from fruit packed in, in boxes and hence the alternatives are required. So the objective of this study was to scan the valu uh, available technologies um, and, in, and technologies under development uh, to gain an understanding of the potential of each of them and subsequently identify the individuals on combinations of treatments to achieve the commercial success. So um, we, um, the plum and nectarine cultivars were sourced from commercial pack houses and repacked with the requirement, uh, required packaging uh, treatments. Um, some of the fruit received a fruit coating and was being applied uh, at a commercial pack line. Um, fruit were weighed at intake and after shelf life to determine mass loss from the fruit of each treatment per cultivar and per fruit type. And the fruit quality assessment were conducted after single temperature cold storage uh, plus a shelf life. So if we look at the, the treatments over the, the three years, um, we started out with um, that no liner one and no liner two. Um, the no liner two was at, if I can remember correctly, at high humidity. Then we had a standard liner, um, so it will be a shrivel sheet um, in some, some cultivars or a, a bag in others. Um, we also tested hydrocooling. There was uh, a fruit coating. Then we tested the 36 by 4 millimeter bag. That's not currently a standard, but we um, thought it would be wise to include it, and we included two paper liners. So if we had to replace the, the plastic liner with a, uh, or the wrapper with a, with a um, paper, we tested two thickness of paper. And that's got a wet strength, so it won't um, crumble when it gets wet. The second year, we uh, kept most of the treatments. Um, we, we, however, decided to throw out the hydro cooling because it wasn't successful. So we added some other coatings and um, the paper liner, we decided that um, both that paper one and paper two was or too thick or too thin, but I'll come to that now. And then in our third year, we, we streamlined stream again and we looked at combinations. Um, uh, we, there was a no liner with a 36 by four bag, a standard liner, and then we had a, a paper liner plus a coating paper liner on its own and then a paper liner um, with uh, other, other coating as well. So if we look at the, the quality of uh, Tiffany nectarines after 35 days cold storage plus a shelf life, you can clearly see that the mass loss was significantly higher in the fruit that didn't receive, uh, that haven't, didn't have a, a wrapper or a bag around it. Um, and you can clearly see that the perforated bag that we use, that's not a standard at the moment, the 30, 36 by 4 millimeter bag worked uh, significantly better than um, the, uh, the one without. The closest uh, alternative to, to the plastic was the combination treatments. We had a perforated paper liner, um, and that was a 36 GSM. Uh, when I sp spoke earlier, we, we tested a, um, a thinner one and a thicker one, and that was not adequate for, for use in a pack, pack, pack house. Um, and if you look at the, the, the uh, shrivel percentage, it's, it was in line with the moisture loss that we received, so that was significantly higher in the, the, with the, without a wrapper in a bag. And then um, the combination treatments also worked well um, to reduce shrivel levels in the Tiffany's. And there was also lower um, willingness in the 36 by 4 millimeter bag that we used. If we look at the African Delight plums uh, that we stored for 30, uh, 42 days, um, plus a shelf life at 10 degrees, um, we can clearly see once again that the, the no wrapper or bag were, uh, had significantly higher mass loss, 
uh, compared to the, the standard. Uh, and in, in African Lights case, you, they use a 54 by 2 millimeter gray bag, um, and also that 36 by 4 mil bag also worked the best. Um, if we look at the this best alternative, it was all three of those combinations uh, of the paper liner and a paper liner with a coating that performed um, better than the um, the treatment without a bag or a liner. Um, once again, the shrivel uh, percentage. Um, was in line with the mass loss that was significantly higher compared to, to all the treatments. Um, once again, the, the standard um, bag and the 36 by 4 millimeter bag performed the best with regards to uh, limiting shrivel levels. And, um, but what we found in two of the cultivars, African Light and the Ruby Suns, uh, that there was with the coating and the paper liner combination, it was like a skin pitting that developed that was not um, good at all. So uh, we decided to stop using that coating in the straw, but that was obviously the last season anyway. So just a quick conclusion. Um, in the three seasons of reaches, all the fruit cultivars packed with a 36 by four millimeter polyethylene perforated bag exhibited significantly lower uh, mass loss and shrivel levels, that was throughout, um, followed closely by fruit packed either in the standard uh, 48 by 6 million PE uh, perforated wrapper or in the, um, the African Light case, the standard um, polyethylene 54 by 2 million perforated bag. Um, like I said previously, that the 36 uh, GSM paper that we used at the end of the trial replace the, six, uh, the 19 and the 55 GSM because the 19 was so fragile you couldn't even get it into the box without tearing it, where the 55 was way too thick and I think the, the pallet weight will be increased significantly if you use that. Um, so, but the 36, uh, 35 GSM paper um, was the best alternative in that case. Um, one of the fruit coatings showed some uh, positive results on on certain cultivars in the previous years, but in the last season that with a combination with a paper liner, we found that in the Ruby Sun and uh, African Light there was that skin pitting. Um, the combination worked well though on Tiffany's Augur Red and Letitia Plums. So recommendations, so this project has identified the best in carton packaging for sea export storage of plums and nectarines and the current best alternatives, and that's the current ones. Uh, more emphasis need to be placed on, on edible coatings and the use thereof in combination with the paper liners. Um, and it's critical to, uh, for relative humidity control from time of harvest until stuffing uh, of the fruit into the shipping containers. Okay, that's my first one done.